a lot of critics always ask why most pan-africanists use egypt as an example while describing the civilization of africa the fact is that the history of africa will remain suspended in air and cannot be written correctly until african historians connect it with the history of egypt egypt was not the only state that was civilized in africa other african states were also civilized in terms of art science and engineering apart from egypt kingdoms like Bini had great civilization and art invention today those inventions are in the museum of the white man who said we are not civilized now before european imperialism in africa the yorubas in nigeria were also civilized they had a well-established system the system of separation of powers and checks and balances was not new to africans the yorubas especially the old oyo empire had such system the powers of the alafi was checkmated by the oyo Messi. the powers of the oyo Messi was checkmated by the oboni courts and they also had a strong military organ named the Arion Akakanfo. Before European contact with the Africans, the Igbos in Nigeria had a well-established system called village democracy. It is an unforgivable historical mistake to teach African children in government and in the field of political science that democracy started in Athens in ancient Greeks. The Igbos already had a well-established democratic system, which as I said earlier, it is called the village democracy, whereby power is decentralized among different institutions in the communities. Before the establishment of Oxford and Cambridge University, Africans had the oldest university in the world established in Fars, Morocco, around 859 AD, which is called the Aikayurin University. We also had the Al Azhar University established in Cairo, Egypt, which is 620 years older than the Oxford and Cambridge University in Europe. When the white first came in contact with Africans, they kotowed, they bowed down to African kings, to African emperors and African elders. They saw our art and invention, they saw our traditional wares. We were not black monkeys as they described us in their Hollywood movie industry. We wore our traditional clothes. We had a moral system that guided us in line with purity, sincerity and peace. Our African children were brought up in line with morals. Did you know that once a child is born in Africa, that child belongs to the community? There was egalitarianism and collectivism not today's individualism that encourages selfishness and capitalism today our african children engage in pornography masturbation and other immoralities this shows how our moral system has collapsed through globalization in africa marriage lasts longer more than today's africa what you see today in africa was not known in africa yesterday today we value the european white wedding more than our african traditional marriage we spend millions just for wedding sometimes after the traditional marriage is done we still go ahead to waste money on white wedding this is the marriage this is the traditional marriage of the white people in europe we are deceived to believe that until a marriage is done in the church that is when such marriage can be blessed but before the penetration of christianity in africa our African marriage was not done in churches, rather, the both families and few of their friends come together to recognize the joining together of their children. There was no big celebration. Everything was done in simple form and the marriage lasts longer than today's wedding. The fact is that the invention of colonialism has made us to see everything Africa as evil and everything European as good. Our parents rejected our native names and gave us the white man's name. They are brainwashed to believe that our ancestral names will bring ancestral cause to us. Some of us were given our names without our decision through baptism. Although we were children who don't know anything, some of us like myself never realized this until all my certificate is written with foreign names. In order not to allow our traditional names to die, we had to go to court to swear an affidavit and added one or two native names. 
we celebrate the white man's wedding but yet the white man do not celebrate our traditional wedding in the aspect of science african communities depended on traditional medicinal roots where they mix it to cure sickness there was nothing like hiv coronavirus ebola or any deadly pandemic or epidemic in africa africans treated themselves through their own traditional or native doctor means it is a historical mistake for the whites to claim that africa was uncivilized before their arrival before the europeans got to their level of renaissance and enlightenment africans had already built the pyramids and other great structures we were not naked and we were not wearing leave as clothes we were well dressed in our own african clothes it is important that we should pass the right knowledge to our children and the ones yet unborn our educational system is nothing else but the european educational system which we adopted it is a colonial education